Hi everyone and welcome to this video about Matomo Analytics. In this uh, video in particular, I will show you how you can install uh, Matomo on-premise on your own machine. This is what we call a uh, local uh, server that we are going to deploy. Um, but first of all, let's just uh, mention the different advantages of going for these techniques. So uh, the first one is that uh, you will be able to see what is Matomo on-premise. So you will have the possibility to play with all features. You will have the possibility to modify I met mode to hack it without arming, uh, let's say, your um, real data. And as well, uh, it allows you to work offline and it uh, doesn't cost you anything. So that's why it's a, it's a great thing for analytics to have, uh, to, for analysts to have actually uh, a Matomo on-premise on their local machine. But in order to install Matomo, we need first to have a web server and we need as well to have a PHP and MySQL running. So this is what uh, we are going to see right now. Okay, uh, so here we are on the matomo.org website. As you can see, you have one menu which is named on-premise and it's what we are interested in. If you click here on download for free, you will see down below that you have the installation guide and the installation guide is clearly mentioning that actually you need to have uh, the minimum requirements in order to run Matomo. And this uh, minimum requirements is that you need to have a web server, you need to have PHP, and you need to have MySQL. So this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to install uh, the web server. So in order to install uh, the web server, we are going to use this command line. And this command line is installing a web server, which is Apache 2, which is one of the most famous uh, server. So here you just run your command and you just validate your password. So it's gonna install oops, it's gonna install Apache. Okay. And uh, you can prepare yourself for the next command which will be MySQL. Okay, so in order to install MySQL you need to run this command. MySQL is the database, okay, so as Matomo is of course collecting and processing data. It needs a place where it's gonna uh, process those data and this place is MySQL. So this is uh, what we have up here. So I can now uh, launch my uh, request for MySQL. In order to check that Apache has been properly installed, what you can do is just to go over here and type localhost and localhost will show you if Apache has been properly installed. So in our case, is good, Apache is installed, then what you need to do is that you need to install PHP as well because Matomo is working with PHP which is a programming language which can uh, talk to your server. Okay, so now as we can see uh, the MySQL uh, process server installation is still running so we need to wait a little bit before running the other command and once we will uh, run the PHP command, we will restart the Apache server in order for all our modification to be taken into consideration. So that's what we are doing right now. We are installing PHP, so it should be faster than MySQL. And once it's finished, we can uh, restart our uh, web server, so Apache. Okay, uh, once um, PHP will be installed, I will restart uh, the server. It's just going to take a couple of seconds, and then I will be ready to install Matt. Okay, so uh, it's still um, creating the PHP folders, but once it's finished, we will enter within uh, the folder which is automatically created by Apache, and we will start to download uh, Matomo on the server of Matomo. So that's great. So it's finished for PHP. So now I restart my uh, server, and now I can access to the folder where I will install my Matter. Okay, so I'm going to do like cd uh, slash var slash ww slash html, which is the location by default of the Apache uh, server for the file that is expecting to install on the server. And now I can run my wget. So this line, what it's doing is that it's downloading Matomo. So here it's not wget, it's sudo wget. So I need to update my documentation and say, okay, it's going to be sudo. So I'm just going to make this modification right here. So it's uh, it's uh, sudo. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to do it later on. 
Okay, so now it's good. And now what I need to do is I need to unzip this uh, given file. So if you do like a ls, you will see that you have a file which is named matomo.zip, but I need now to unzip it. Okay, so you unzip it like this, and now it's unzipping my matomo. <coughs> okay, once it's down now, you can check that actually you have a folder which is named matomo, and this folder you can ac access it directly by matomo. Okay, so great. Here, uh, Matomo is installed. It's telling me that I don't have yet the right to uh, write to the uh, directory. So in order to write to the directory, I need to run this given line in order to give um, my user the possibility to do it. So this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, operation not permitted means that actually you need to perform a sudo for that. So that's what I'm doing. And now, if I refresh my page, I should see that uh, I have my Matomo installation process. So I can click here on next. So here uh, it's gonna do the system check. And as you can see within the system check, it's telling me that some um, things are not good. And that's the case for the extension, for example. Uh, so it's telling me, okay, please install the following extensions before uh, moving forward. So that's what we're gonna do in next step. We are gonna install uh, PHP MySQL in order to have uh, those different extensions working. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm installing it. Okay. And yes. Okay. And once it's installed, as it is now, we're just going to refresh the page to see if there's any changes. Okay, still no changes. Probably the reason is that it needs as well those line of code to be added to a file which is the php.ini file. And the php.ini file is located in slash etc slash php. So we're going to access to this given. Uh, so it's cd slash etc slash patchy. Uh, then it's. Uh, yups slash etc slash php okay slash php then it's the version of your php so in my case 7.2 and then Apache 2 okay and then once you are there you can see that you have a file which is named php.ini so in my case in order to access it I will do sudo nano which is a text editor and now I have the possibility to copy and paste the different line of code that we have seen um, as those line of code are the following ones, so mysqle.so, okay, extension mysqle. So I'm going to do like a where is, so ctrlw, and we're going to see uh, extension, like extension equal mysqle, and let's see where it is. Okay, it's, it's right here. Um, probably I don't want to put it here. I'm going to explain that in a second. So where is okay? As you can see, there are like many other places over here uh, which are all uncommented. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna take any risk. I'm just gonna copy and paste it like this. What? So when you have a comment before, it means that the line is not activated, and when you don't have one, it means that it's activated. So now I can uh, write it out. So CTRL O, and I validate it. Okay. So now it should be fine if I load back my page. I should not see those uh, error message anymore. Okay, I can still see them. And the reason is that actually I need to perform um, a restart of the server. So I'm going to leave this given window. So and now I'm going to perform this one. Okay, so now normally uh, the server has been a refresh, uh, restarted. So now as you can see, uh, the error has been uh, removed, but as I, you can see, there is another extension which is an MB string that I need to get rid of as well. So uh, I need to perform this given a line of code sudo apt get install php uh, my php version MB string. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna do like a sudo apt get and it's gonna be so my php version which is so make whoops, I have so many. So I think it's PHP 7. Point, okay, it's 7.2 in my case. Point 0.2 and let's see. Okay, I'm string. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, and then probably I need to restart uh, my server again. So this is what I did. Okay, let's now refresh the page. Okay, and now all good. Uh, what you can see is that I still have some um, little warning message, but I don't mind actually. I could uh, fix them afterward specifically. Now you are on a page which is asking you, okay, uh, where would you like to uh, send the data? Uh, to. So you need to enter the credential of uh, your database and in our case uh, we have not yet uh, created a database. So this is what we're going to do now uh, in this step. So in order to create the database you need to access to MySQL. So this is what uh, we're going to do right now. So I'm going to access to MySQL and then you need to create a user because when you created uh, when you install for the first time MySQL server it created a user which is root but seems that actually uh, Matomo needs to have another uh, user running so I'm going to create another user which his name is John and password John do as I did but when you create a user it needs as well to have some um, user rights and those uh, user rights need to be high so in my case I'm going to give all privileges to John do so that's what I just did now and now I need to create as well a database so this way I'm going to execute this line of code in order to create a database okay so I'm gonna give a name and the database is whatever you want you can create my database for example oops and don't forget <coughs> this at the end okay uh, you have an error in your mysql syntax okay um let's create database okay so what did I do wrong um mm -mm -mm. create database and name of your database I think it's should be right okay probably I forgot to put a space over here okay so now I have a database which is named my database okay and I have a user which is named John okay so here is the credential so this one means that this is localhost okay so your database is going to be over here and the login is John as we just saw uh, the password we just enter it and it was I forgot um, I think it was John do or something like this okay let's say John do uh, John do so it's better when it's more than six uh, six characters so John do okay database name we saw that it was my database my database okay they put it was just my database was it mm -mm. Yeah, just my database, okay. And now uh, table prefix, you can leave it like this and let's see if that works, okay. Uh, please fix the following one, okay. Either the database does not exist and could not be created or the specific user has insufficient privileges, which is kind of weird because this is exactly what I, what I did. So probably what I missed is uh, that I need probably to exit something. And if I, if I refresh it, Okay, kind of strange. You can add those privileges. That's not this and could not be created or the specific users. Okay, so we're gonna redo what we did, which is kind of strange because I think I did all good. Um, so, oh, okay, that's where I got it wrong. I grant all privileges and I give it to a former database that I created. So uh, my database okay and now it has all the privileges so normally if i refresh it right now it should be right i guess okay perfect so now all tables have been created with uh, successfully so then you need to create the super user for matomo so it has nothing to deal with uh, the one that you created for the database but i mean if it's just for local installation you can probably leave it as it is it's it's no big deal it's just not recommended for security reason uh, here probably they're going to ask you for uh, an email so you can put whatever you want uh, so in my case i don't want to leave any any email so i'm just going to write a buggy email like this one and now um, 
the super user has created successfully. So now you can give the name of your website. In my case, it's going to be test. Um, doesn't really matter here what you put because you can uh, create it afterward. And now you have your JavaScript code. In my case, um, I can move forward because I know this process by heart and then continue to Matomo. So now you have your Matomo, which is up and running. So you can uh, just take the JavaScript tracking code, copy and paste it on all your pages, either the container tracking code or either any other uh, tracking code. By default, no data are recorded, but just to let you know that it's uh, going to work. So uh, you just go within admin in order to get a tracking code. Then you go over here on the left website tracking code. Here you get the different tracking code that you can pick up, either JavaScript and uh, in my case, I'm just going to pick the pixel just to show you that um, the data works. And if I just copy and paste it over here, you will see that the data are properly pushed to the system. You just need to get rid of those small characters over here. Okay, uh, so here is the Matomos pixel. So you cannot see it right now, but now you can see it, right? This is the one and by one pixel. And as it has been loaded, now you're going to see that the data have been properly pushed. If I go to dashboard, I won't see the uh, message saying me that no data are pushed, but I will see that the first data have been uh, recorded. And that's it for uh, the demo. So uh, I really hope that actually you enjoy this uh, given video. Uh, just to let you know that in order to really understand how to install it locally, you need to practice. So please try to redo this tutorial at home and install Matomo on your own uh, local server. And thank you very much uh, for watching. Do not hesitate actually to, uh, to share uh, this video or at least to create your own video and share it with everybody. Thanks.